Hi guys, so today we're going to do a quick video on how to find don't uh, how to find slope of a line okay from different representations like finding slope from a graph finding slope from a table or finding slope from two points so let me pull up what we're going to look at okay so first we're going to look at graphs okay graphs being one of the easier of them for us to do because you probably remember it from middle school so when you're looking at a graph you need to make sure that i'm going to make it a little bigger so we can see it a little bit better hopefully here we go we are finding the rise over run that's probably what you remember most from middle school we need to find two points so for instance there's a point here and a point here we start with the point on the left and find our rise. In this case, it's a rise of four and our run, which is a rise of two. Why is it four and two? Because look guys, each box counts as two. It's going two, four, six, eight, instead of one, two, three, four. So our rise is four and our run is two. Now we divide them. Four divided by two is two. So our slope M, M represents slope. So our slope is two. Let's look at another example. That is a positive slope, by the way. Lines that go up from left to right have a positive slope. Now what about lines that go down from left to right? Those would have negative slopes. So we do know that this line here is gonna be a negative slope. But once again, do the same thing. Find two points on it. Here's one and here's one. Now, rise doesn't always mean go up. In this case, I'm going down one, so it's a negative one. And I'm going over one, two, three, three. So rise over run. So our slope is negative one third. If you can divide them, divide them. But in this case, three can't divide into one, so it's gonna remain a fraction, negative one third. So that is how we would find slope from a graph using rise over run. But what about if it was a table, okay? So with a table, we are using change in y divided by change in x. So you're seeing how much the y's are changing, okay? And then you're seeing how much the x's are changing. So these are y's, f of x and y are the same thing. So pick any two points and find the change in their y's. So from four to eight, that's an increase of four, right? It's changing by four, it's increasing by four. My x's are increasing by two. From two to four, that's an increase of two. So my change in y's go on top, as you can see right here. So that's four. And my x's are changing by two, positive two. So four divided by two is two. So our slope is two, a positive slope. And you can tell because look at your X's, your X's are getting bigger. Your Y's are also getting bigger, four, eight, 10, 16. If both of your um, columns are, the numbers are getting bigger, then you know it's gonna be a positive slope. But look at this next table. You can see the X's are getting bigger, but the Y's, the numbers keep getting smaller, 20, 16, eight, four, zero. So let's once again, we're finding the change in our Y's and dividing it by the change in our X's. So our Y's are changing by what? Our Y's, which remember is this column right here, from 20 to 16, that's a decrease of four. And from three to six, that's an increase of three. Now remember, which one goes on top? The y's, so negative four goes on top and positive three goes on bottom. Negative four thirds. And that is how we find it from a table. Last one we're gonna look at, finding slope from two points. So there is a slope formula, which will be on your formula chart on the star test, uh, that you don't have to memorize. 
and it is right here. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So let's label our points. X1, Y1, that's two and negative three. And label the other point, X2, Y2. That would be the five and the negative six. So let's plug them into our formula. Our formula says, look at the top of the fraction, y2, which is negative six, then a minus sign, and then y1, which is negative three. So notice I have a double negative there. Now let's do the bottom. The bottom says x2, which is five, minus x1, which is two. And I got all those numbers, guys, from right here. I had labeled them. So those four numbers I've got to use. Now, from here, all we are gonna do is, first we're gonna turn the double negative into a plus, okay? So negative six plus three is negative three. And five minus two is three. And then divide if you can. Negative three divided by three is negative one. Now, if you don't like using that formula, you could put your points in a table. So for instance, let's look at the last example here. Each of these points I could put in the table, four, one, and negative four, one. And now just use the table method. Find out what the change in the y's are. From one to one, that's a change of zero because nothing really changed. From four to negative four, that's a decrease of eight units. So to find slope of a table, it's change in y divided by the change in the x. So the change in the y was zero, and the change in the x's was negative eight. And zero divided by negative eight is zero. So our slope is zero. The only other thing that I do want to point out um, about slopes is for graphs, if you're looking at graphs, there is something we can look at called Mr. Slope Man, okay? And the way it looks is we have a plus sign, for his eyeball, positive slopes go up from left to right. A negative sign for his other eyeball because negative slopes go down from left to right. And see, now he has eyebrows, okay? Now, vertical lines, that means up and down. I put a U here because that stands for undefined. Vertical lines have a slope of undefined or sometimes people say no slope because there is no slope, there's no steepness, it's just straight up and down, and impossible to climb. If that was a wall, I couldn't climb up unless I was Spider-Man, okay? So what about if we have a horizontal line? What kind of slope does that have? Remember, slope is steepness. So I have some steepness, I have very steep, but if it's straight flat, like a horizontal line, there's no steepness at all. So our slope would be zero. And there's Mr. Slope Man's face. I'm sorry he seems so sad, <laughs> but that is a good way to remember what kind of slope each line has. We have positive slope, negative slope, we have vertical, which is undefined slope, and a horizontal line, which is a slope of zero. Okay, if you need any help on slope, make sure to come into tutoring.